What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So finally we have the first build of Paranoid Android for OnePlus 7 Pro and OnePlus 7T. This is the first alpha build of Paranoid Android based on Android 12 for OnePlus 7 series. I have been using my OnePlus 7 Pro as a primary device running Paranoid Android based on Android 12. As said this is the first alpha build so you might encounter some of the other issues while using your device. So in this video, let's take a quick look on the first build of Paranoid Android. Before starting the video, thank you so much guys for completing the like target of 400 likes. Let's keep the same like target and we also have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro. Let me show you the software information. And here you can see Android version is Android 12, Paranoid Android version is Alpha 1, security patches of 5th December 2021. If you guys aren't aware about Paranoid Android, so this custom ROM doesn't come with much of customization options. Though the main focus over here is the stability part. Here we have the benchmark results with single core device have scored 589 and with multi core device have scored 2428. With Antutu benchmark application device have scored 5,57,413 and not bad benchmark results. If you guys wish to install Paranoid Android on your OnePlus 7 Pro or 70, you can follow the installation video guide at the end of this video. Roam comes with its own launcher which is Paranoid Launcher. You won't get much of customization options in the launcher. But you have all the other stuff like wallpaper and styles which also includes dark theme and themed icon. Soon you enable themed icon, the icons on the home screen will adapt to the same material you theme. As you guys are aware about the material you theming part of Android 12 and that works pretty good on Paranoid Android 2. So let me change a wallpaper and show you guys, we'll apply this stock wallpaper and as you can see device theme completely adapted to the wallpaper colors. By default you'll get this AOSP camera pre-installed. But I'll leave the Google camera APK in the description below and that Google camera application works pretty much good enough. You can try out different XML files and if you have the pop-up camera mechanism, for example you are flashing on your OnePlus 7 Pro, there are no issues to be seen with the pop-up camera also. All the basic functionalities works fine like alert slider. We have the support of Wi-Fi calling and Volte services. This is the calling UI where you don't get any option to record the call. All the sensors does their job properly like accelerometer light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, and gyroscope. Google Play Store is certified. Device also passes the safety net check after installing Paranoid Android. And you guys won't have any kind of issues using payment services. So these are the transactions which I made after installing Paranoid Android on my OnePlus 7 Pro. For me, Google Pay is working fine. On the lock screen, you'll get to see charging slowly, but your device charges quite fast. Battery backup on this initial build is not that great. I've been getting around three and a half hours to four hours of screen on time, and that's without gaming. So yes, bit of optimizations are required when it comes to battery backup. Fingerprint unlock is quite fast, and all other off-screen gestures works fine, like double tap to wake and lift to check the phone. Both the bands of Wi-Fi have no issues at all. Auto brightness is calibrated well. We also get to see this prevent accidental wake up, but prevent accidental wake up sometimes pops up when the device is kept idle. This is the always on display on Paranoid Android. Face unlock feature isn't present on Paranoid Android. To secure your device, you can use fingerprints, pin or password. For display, you'll also find the option of high brightness mode, along with few panel modes, which consist of natural, vivid, RGB, DCI-P3 and AMOLED wide gamut. We don't have Android 12 gaming mode, but things like one-handed mode and power button customizations are present. For example, if you long press, you can use the Google Assistant using your power button. And when it comes to performance, I played Battlegrounds Mobile India. Here, Paranoid Android also supports 90 FPS. Though if you do gaming in 90 FPS, your device will slightly warm up, but you won't see much of frame drops. Device constantly maintains between 80 to 90 FPS while gaming. Overall, being an initial build, good enough to be used as daily driver. Battery part requires bit of optimizations. Hopefully, in upcoming updates, we get a better build of Paranoid Android for OnePlus 7 and 70 series. And now let's talk about the installation process. Installation process is quite easy. It's recommended that you are running latest build of Oxygen OS on your OnePlus 7 series. After that, you just need to unlock the bootloader of your device. If you guys aren't aware about unlocking the bootloader, I'll leave a video guide in the description below. Follow that video guide, you'll be easily able to unlock the bootloader of your OnePlus 7 series. So here you can see my device bootloader is unlocked under device state, it says unlocked. That means bootloader have been successfully unlocked. If you guys have already unlocked bootloader, just boot your device into fast boot mode. Then you'll be requiring platform tools. Just unzip platform tools. 
and download the Paranoid Android 12 for your specific device and place that Paranoid Android ROM file inside the platform tool folder. Once you are done with that, just open up command prompt by typing cmd in the address bar. Once you open up command prompt, just check whether your device is properly connected in fastboot mode or not by giving the command fastboot devices and hit enter. You should see a serial number. If this doesn't appear, that means you have some kind of issues with your fastboot drivers. For that, we have made a dedicated video. Just follow that video guide if your device is not detected in the fastboot mode. And later, to flash the paranoid android ROM, give the command fastboot update followed by the same name of this. Just copy the file name or you can also drag and drop. So I'll just copy it here. Right click to paste and we'll add .zip at the end because it's a zip file. Just ignore this .img guys. That's just included in the name. The file is not an image. So once you have given the command followed by .zip, just hit enter. And the process might take around 5 to 7 minutes. And once the installation process is completed, your device should boot into recovery where you'll get an option to perform a factory reset. My device did not boot into recovery because I was already running Paranoid Android on my device. But if you are installing it for the first time, for sure your device will automatically boot into recovery. There you will get an option to factory reset. Just perform the factory reset and you will be good to go. So as you can see, a device have been successfully booted up with Paranoid Android 12. This way you can flash latest build of Paranoid Android on your OnePlus 7 Pro or OnePlus 7T. So guys, this was a quick look and the installation guide of Paranoid Android for OnePlus 7 Pro and 7T. If you guys still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.